Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to Toonkind 12 FPS. My name is Fable, and today I'll be playing March. And with me today is the amazing, the talented, and the really cool dude. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Candlestick, and today I'm going to be playing my Starbarian uh, shooting star. Also, Fable, I love how deadpan you are whenever you say March's name. <laughs> Cause he's just, he's just, you know, he's just, this is just how he talks. He's wonderful, just and I it. love him. This is it. So, um, so last Dreamer's Crest game was, a uh... yeah! <laughs> For anyone who, who, uh, uh, I feel like if this is your first, first introduction to Star in March, you need to listen to Dreamer's Crest first. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I imagine if you're listening to this, you have, so you should be fine with spoilers. Spoilers being that, um, uh, there owl was a dude, the campaign. there's a dude that hatched out of an egg that was in an owl bear. And that was yeah. weird. And apparently the dude's a bird. Big ice bird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Weird shit. It made the whole, whole town snowy until we could calm him down and then paint tattoos on him. Yeah, yeah, like ceiling. It was ceiling tattoos, yeah? I think so. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. But yeah, just weird shit. Weird shit happens in Dreamer's Crest. Uh, well, it, you know, March is, March is, uh, March already, you know, first day one, he already knew that weird shit happened here. But now it's kind of like, man, really weird shit happens here. <laughs> I'm going to go yep. and just think about that for reasons. Uh, so at the end of the at the end of the last Dreamers Crest, March, March, wa March, uh, uh, while everyone else kind of chilled out in the same spot, March kind of went off on his own to just find a place to sit and to to meditate for a little bit. That's what he did. Hmm. Well, glad he's not having an existential crisis like a lot of the other characters in this party have been. Yeah, no, he's mostly fine. I think. I'm actually going to roll for it in a little bit. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, on uh, Star's end, um, Star has been in fix-it mode um, since finding out about the, the hatching human. Um, and is going to is searching for March I think a little bit later on just to check up on him because um, he did notice that March wasn't joining uh, them where they were and just is like you know there's been a lot happening here <laughs> just want to like make sure that he's okay which is a good which honestly is uh, uh, even if it whether it was or wasn't March it's a good thing to do overall because yeah yeah Shit's happening. Uh, well, I'm gonna make my I'm gonna make my brain roll real quick. Uh, if you want to make, I guess, an investigation roll just to see uh, yeah, how quickly Star how finds. Yeah, how long it takes to find him. Meanwhile, I'm yep. just gonna. Uh, b -b -b I'll make it wisdom. It's a four. Okay. Oh no. Oh, seventeen. Seventeen. Guess. Okay. So it does not take you long, and I can actually tell you why it doesn't take you long, because that was a four that I rolled. Uh, Star, you find March really easily because you find splotches of ink uh, oh. on the ground that basically lead a trail straight to him. And he's behind, I, he's behind one of the dilapidated buildings in a, uh, in a meditative position. And I want to say as you get closer that he hasn't he hasn't noticed you, and could you make a perception hmm. check for me? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh, like, I'm not actually sure how Star would approach this because um, Star can't like speak up to let March know that his presence is there, and given the ink splatters that they found on the way to to March and not sure touching him at the moment is the best idea either mm. so I'll make a perception check Ooh. oh that's 18 okay yeah yeah uh, uh, 
Mamacha's eyes are closed, but you can, uh, uh, you can definitely hear him muttering to himself. At least you think that's what he's doing. He's kind of just muttering under his breath, just, just like a, stop. I'm trying to think. Stop talking, please. You, that's, that's, that's what you hear with an 18. That's an 18. That's really good. Uh... Well, he's certainly not talking to Star. Certainly not. Certainly not. But but with the eighteen, I'm just gonna uh, 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 add on, add on that along with the muttering under his breath, you also uh, you see the because uh, oh yeah, because March still doesn't have a shirt. He's still a, he's still shirtless. Uh, you could very easily see how the surface of his body is uh, shifting a lot. Hmm. Well. Uh, definitely not, definitely not gonna be touching much then. Um, that, that seems like a bad idea. Um, I, I think, actually, here's, here's what he will do. Um, yeah, so he reaches into his hat and he pulls out a little, a little silver bell and, uh, will shake that a little bit so you get a little... Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle. You see the you see the shifting suddenly stop, and March's eyes quickly like open up, and he looks around and then sees you and goes, "Oh." Uh. Kind of looks around, a little awkwardly. Hi. <laughs> um, he shoves the bell back in his hat with a little wave and a smile before his expression gets concerned and you get a sort of gesture of, um, are you all right? Uh, I'm... Maybe? I'm trying to meditate, but I'm not really good at it. <laughs> um... It, um, he smiles at that, uh, and, like, sort of comes, sits, uh, probably down next, to, like, across from you, like, um, similar sort of position, uh, and, uh, with, with a little smile, is like, um, and then, uh, an image of, um, do you want to talk instead? Uh... March thinks about thinks about it for a sec, uh, and he he glances around around again uh, before back at you, starting then just nods. <laughs> um, yeah, like that. That's there's a big smile and then sort of like a shifting to like make himself comfortable. I think actually I'm gonna roll another hammer space. Yeah, pulls out a pillow and like just like leans back on it. Like I am comfy now. I can stay here for a while. March wa watches this without without comment, and he seems to. Uh, I think he's. <laughs> I think actually he doesn't say anything because he's just like looking at Star expectantly. <laughs> um, Star's not bothered by this. It is just like. Staring back, like, this is just like, yeah, this is fine with silence. <laughs> they just stare at each other for a long time in silence. <laughs> Until, I want to say several minutes pass before March blinks and, and realizes that, oh, wait, right, you don't, oh. <laughs> you, you get a silent laugh from him, but it's more of a fun, he, he's not really, um, he finds it more amusing than anything when people forget that he doesn't talk. Yeah, March kind of... You actually see... He looks away and you actually see, like, embarrassed little uh, tunish blush marks on his mask. Uh, Aww. But, he, but then, uh, you know, he looks back at Star again and just... So, um... I don't know if it's rude or not, but... Can I ask why you don't talk? Um, 
you get a um a head tilt to the side and then um a, an image of um of like uh like uh it, it it's an animated image of uh star sort of like popping into existence and um and then an uh like speaking but then an x through it um you get the impression um he's never actually been able to speak that's just how he was uh born Okay, so you're just, just always like that then. Yeah, you get a nod. Hmm. Uh, followed by a uh, um, bit of a like gesturing at the ink, uh, and uh, same for you. Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah. Kind of always like this. <laughs> A long stretch of silence again. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do. used to this um i mean like i i i can i mean that uh, hmm. this place is weird right <laughs> one single solid nod yes this place is weird okay okay it's not just me okay <laughs> um I, I think you'll get another like smile and um a couple more images of um star traveling um <clears throat> very a lot of places before like it settles in on Dreamer's crest and very very weird this is not normal huh i've only been to one other place besides this so i'm not sure what's what counts it? I don't know if this place is... Or I didn't know if this place was just weird in that Toonish way. Or like really, really weird even by Toonish standards. But you saying that means that it is actually really, really weird even by Toonish standards. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> you get a another nod and a... Uh... Uh, another set of images like uh, it's not like weird stuff doesn't happen other places but this is not the norm hmm much thinks about it for a second uh, and then you slowly see his gaze go uh, towards the mountain you think it mm. has something to do with that <laughs> star shrugs um, and then, like, the hand tilt, like, maybe? <laughs> Don't know. Hmm. In most... Back at the monastery, we had a lot of books. Not a lot of story ones, mostly history, but... A lot of them talk about, usually, if, if a place is weird, something's causing it. Yeah, I mean... Uh, Stard gives a nod that makes sense, um, but they do seem curious about the, uh, uh, you mentioning the monastery, like, uh, um, put, putting together that, um, you said you've only come, you've only ever been one other place before here, and then mentioning a monastery, so it's like, a, ah, is that where you were from? Yeah, I was, I was... Yeah, uh, the, the Monastery of Ode. Can I roll a history to see if Star's heard of that before? Uh, 
This is not, uh, from what I know of Star, this is actually a more recent monastery, so I don't, you can, but I don't think, it won't be with any sort of advantage, because it's not a super. Yeah, fair. I can tell you just straight off the bat, it's not a, it's, it's a more recent. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I just, like, Star has traveled for a long time, so it's kind of I interesting to see what they might have come across. Okay. Ooh. 16. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, with the 16, you will definitely have heard, have heard about it. It is a, it is a monastery that's built, uh, it's a monastery that's built up, at, like a lot of monasteries are built on mountains and whatnot, and this one is, is much the same. Uh, hmm. it's built, in, it's built in a, uh, desert area very close to the Uncanny Valley. Ah. And, uh, it's a... It's a peculiar monastery for, uh, because it's known to house both monks and wizards. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Um, I think, hmm, I'm not sure, I, I think with the 16, I'm not sure if Star's visited that place before. Probably or not. Or just been in an area where it's, like, close to the place and thus has heard like stories yeah about it. yeah probably, i can probably that one yeah i can say you, you were you, i would have said you'd have to roll pretty high to have actually been to have actually been there but uh you definitely would have heard you definitely would have been close with well, a 16 you've definitely been close by to places that have plenty of stories about it hmm um uh, i think i think then in that case um yeah, his expression brightens and he gets a, uh, there's a, another flurry of images as he tries to get across. Um, oh, I've, I've heard of that place. There's a, there's a lot of cool stories about it. March, uh, actually perks up a bit, like, and nods, like, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff happens, happens there since we've got spellcasters, so... You know, magic and whatnot it gets weird. <laughs> I think there's a better word for that, but weird's all I got right now. <laughs> I think uh, perhaps in a little bit of amusement um, and a little bit of a uh, um, teasing grin, he just starts listing off um, adjectives for weird, like absurd, um, eccentric. Um, nonsensical um just you know just a list of them like um here's some here's some extra words for uh if if you want if you want more than weird nonsensical i like that one <laughs> yeah um star star grids is like yeah that that's a good one too my march actually squints a bit at that at that and you know and uh uh you could roll for it if you want but kind of, but i'm willing to just let you know that as you've been as you've been talking march's uh his ink has been rap was rather drippy when you found him but now it's kind of i want to say stabilized hmm. it's not dri it's not dripping from him from him anymore there is all there is by the way a uh, a decent pile of ink under him hmm well um i guess they 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 can clean that up at all at a later date. No, no, later. <laughs> Along with all the all of the snow, but I, I think um I think yeah, he probably has noticed um that the ink is starting to stabilize and feels yeah, okay. This seems to be helping at least. Um so um yeah. yeah. Um March is gonna uh but March now is gonna be the one to tilt his own head as he looks at Star and just goes, "So, where are you from?" Um. Hmm. Do you want to roll an insight on Star? Sure. Twelve. Um. Okay. Uh. He looks a little bit surprised that you're asking, followed by a ah, "I should have expected that." Um, and, and he, um, he says, um, a fair, fair way away from here, um, uh, 
you probably haven't heard of it, um, is what you get. Um, which, yeah, that's what you get. Mudge kind of ends up tilting his head the other way and just goes, well, I did look at, at some of the maps at the monastery. Kind of had to, because they train the mind and the body and all that. Um, <laughs> uh, another small smile. Um, I think with that 12, it's not enough to get a lot, but you do get, uh, a, uh, um, like, uh, okay, I guess, um, I'm not getting this past you as much, um, followed by, a um, it's, uh, in Northern Ghibli. March thinks about that for for a second. And this is also me, Fable, trying to remember what, because uh, we do actually, because uh, Toon Kind D&D does in fact have a map of Einkwell. Mm. <laughs> I'm trying to remember what's in Northern Ghibli. And I can't think of it at the moment, so, but March just thinks about it a moment before nodding and goes, Ghibli sounds nice. <laughs> um... Yeah, there's a there's another small smile and a nod. Um, yeah, I, I think with that... Uh, actually, hold on, I'm going to roll something. Toby. March uh, has a thought bubble going up above his head, and it's thinking about all Ghibli oh. food. Oh, no. Okay. What'd you um... roll? What'd you roll? <laughs> that was a deception. Um... Oh! <laughs> that doesn't do it! No, um, March, you definitely know enough to know that, uh, Star is not telling you everything. Oh. March tilts his head to the side, thinks about that for a second, just nods. Is it, uh, I mean, I, I don't. Hmm. I don't want to pry because I think everyone's got secret stuff and that's okay to have. Uh, I was going somewhere with this. <laughs> wait, this is, um, wait, this is awkward now. Cause now you know that I know that you're not telling me everything, but I don't think that's bad that you're not because I'm not telling you everything either. And that's, wait. And March just kind of just puts his hands over his head, just like hides his mask in his hands. It's just like, I'm getting this mixed up. Hold on. Oh, uh -huh. I think you get a small little pat on like the top of your mask, like, uh, as a there, there. Um, and oh, if roll you... insight. Actually, <laughs> sorry, no, perception. Okay. Oh. March freezes when you touch his mask. Okay, um, then it's definitely, like, his hand is definitely pulled back fast, like a sorry. And March just, uh, slowly relaxes. Mm. I think in instead you get a little pat on the hat instead, so you can sort of feel the, the movement of the hat of a, yeah, yeah. sorry. Eventually, Mar yeah, and eventually March, like, relaxes. relaxes. It wasn't, like, a big, like, st like, uh froze like a statue. No, he's kind of just, like, like, uh, when someone takes, like, a, a quick inhale of breath, kind of, kind of stiffen. Yeah, yeah, but small... enough, enough of a, ah, uh, that's something that makes the other person uncomfortable. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Yeah. Uh, eventually, though, March, March relaxes and pulls his hands back and just... Anyways, you don't have to, I guess, if there's stuff you don't want to say, then you don't have to, because... And March just kind of sticks a thumb uh, behind him, you know, back where everyone else is, along with the big ice bird and Nor. <laughs> you know, it turns out Nor is not Nor. 
and that he was, you know... There's, there's a bird, uh, like a phoenix bird appears in Star's hands and they're like, was a, was a bird? Yeah, was a bird. I mean, I kind of feel kind of bad because I, I had asked him if he was a bird a while, a, a, a few weeks ago. Because he talked about <laughs> birds a lot, sometimes. Hmm. Yeah. Star just nods of, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't really know these things. Um, before, um, their face turns down a little bit and the, uh, there's another couple of images, uh, where you get, um, he basically conveys, um, the place I'm from doesn't exist anymore. March blinks at that. Oh. Where did it go? <laughs> um... A wry smile and, um, just a, uh, like a pop out of existence. Much blinks again. That can happen. Um, uh, you get another, like, wave of the hand, um, and then a, um, sort of kind of de gesture like uh, it's complicated oh oh yeah I yeah just just pop gone ugh yeah um out of, out of character, Candle, I just had the most, I had the worst urge to say something as March. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of curious as to I had it. the, I had the most terrible urge for March to just go, that's rough, buddy. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, he's not wrong. No, he's not. But I was just like, not the time, not the time, not the time. <laughs> Don't do it. But yeah, I think Mark's uh -oh. just kind of just sitting there in silence for a bit, kind of just, like, thinking about it. Because, like, I mean, yeah, he knew, like, you know, kingdoms co kingdoms and towns come and go. go. He's read enough history books to know that. But it's also just, like, just pop out of existence just like that. Oof. Mm. Crazy. Nonsensical. <laughs> um... Yeah, if he if he says that, the that gets a a little bit of a laugh out of um out of Star, but I I think that um he's going to change the topic to um um I I'm not sure um not as a bird yeah um so how about that like yeah you get the um so and the other no hatched from an egg yeah. And it was in the owl bear. How did it get there? Yeah, just uh, I don't know. That's really weird. It is weird, and I don't completely get it. I mean, Nor too, or I guess the actual Nor seems nice, but how do you get? But how do you get here? Yeah, just a shrug and a, uh... Like a kid. Well, I have no idea. Yeah, and March kind of just starts... Uh, March is going to keep going, because it doesn't... Because, I mean, it doesn't make sense, because when you die, you know, your soul goes... Your soul goes somewhere else. Even when... And maybe, and maybe somehow his soul got here, and I got that there was the whole regeneration thing with the I mean with the egg but again how did the egg get in the owlbear and how did his soul get in the egg is it because 
Arnor that we know was there? Uh... Yeah. Uh, you get another pat on the hat of uh, don't think about it too much, um, followed by a um, uh, sort of like a introspective look before he... Um, um, there's the image of Nor, and then an image of a phoenix, and then the phoenix sort of like uh, bursting into flames and then becoming an egg and then hatching and repeat. And basically, I'm pretty sure phoenixes uh, in legend uh, are known for their ability to be reborn once they die. Maybe that's tied into the the nor but star nor 2.0 star how did the egg get in the owl bear <laughs> how did it get there star it's I'm just really the that's uh, that's out of everything that's the thing that's that maybe not scares me but is really weird nonsensical <laughs> how did it get there the star just throws his hands in the air like, I don't know, and Watch just flops back on the pillow. Watch just throws his hands up the I don't know either. I mean, I don't know a lot of things, so that's not too surprising, but I, it, it, hmm, I really want to ask. But I don't know who to ask that would have a chance of knowing. <laughs> um, yeah, star sort of nods, and then there's more images of, um, I know a fair amount of things that I don't know either, so... It's a mystery. Hmm. Oh, we have a mystery. I mean, we already kind of had a mystery, but now we have a double mystery. Nonsensical. <laughs> no, now it's, not, now it's not feeling as... I think I like saying weird more. <laughs> um... The, yeah, like, um, there's another silent laugh from, from Star, um, before, uh, he's, uh, props himself up and looks kind of curious and, um, he's like, so what brought you here in the first place? Oh, uh, watch what he said that. He's gonna... He's gonna stick, uh, a hand into his side, just splorch. And as a one, ah. uh, he pulls out a glob of ink, blinks at it, and goes, wait, hold on. Stick, slurps it back in. Gonna roll again. There we go. Uh, and this time, uh, pulls out a, uh, pulls out a piece of paper and, uh, wiggles a few clumps of ink off it. It is not, uh, you do notice that it is not completely saturated in ink. It just looks like a regular piece of paper. Uh, mm. and he holds it out to you, Star, and it's a, um, it looks like a piece of paper torn out of, torn out of a book, and it is a, uh, it is a lullaby about Dreamer's Crest. Hmm, interesting. I saw this, uh, in a book at the monastery, and I was curious, and I wanted to... I wanted to see what the lullaby was talking about. Yeah, um, Star's sort of looking between the, the lullaby and March. There's a bit of a raised eyebrow in that he's not 100% sure. Like, there's the, you came all this way from a place you've, um, you've never been like from the place you've only ever been on a lullaby um like is the i i'm not sure if you're telling me everything but also uh you know we all have our secrets i'm not gonna press yeah march uh hmm oh this is cool yeah so uh, uh i will actually get uh actually wrote down the lullaby uh, so I'm just going to read it off for the for the audience real quick. Uh, Once upon a far off place, there was danger the pillars faced, a creature who could only weep for it could never get to sleep. It raged and whined and thrashed about, it yelled and sobbed and ground its snout, 
and Ikewell shook right to the core as this beast began to rend apart the floor. After the pillars all convened, they knew they had to stop the keen, so they told a story, long and true, and sealed the beast with what they knew. And now the monster only dreams, but everything isn't as it seems, because it will be woken from its rest if anything happens to the dreamer's crest. And this is the lullaby that is on the paper that March has. Hmm. Yeah, that's very concerning to Star. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, uh, and Star from, uh, kind of what you were just saying about what, uh, Star was conveying. Uh, March nods a bit as he, uh, as he looks at the paper and, I mean, there, there is, there is another reason I came here, but I can't. I can't tell you without explaining something I promised I wouldn't tell people. Yeah, um, you get a, a nod from Star of a, it's okay, you, you don't have to say anything. Um, and a sort of um, moment of like a decision before um, uh, the he begins to sign once more. Um, well, um, then I will help you with, uh, your quest. March blinks at that, but, but you don't know what my quest is. How will you help? Um, uh, Star, like, there's there's a picture of Star sort of, like, picking uh, March up, and it's, uh, by supporting you. March blinks again, and there is just a brief moment of March looking at Star and looking at himself, and <laughs> but I'm really heavy. <laughs> oh. Um, Star laughs, and then there's a couple more images of, um, not, not literally, um, as in, uh, multiple hands are better than one, and, like, more sets of eyes, and, you know, just, a m many hands make light work. Hmm. Then I guess... If you're gonna help me, then... I'll help you too. And besides, and March actually, for, uh, after that, uh, you see all of March's extra arms pop out of his back. I have a lot of arms. <laughs> You're welcome to roll insight if you'd like on star. I shall. That's my insight. There's my insight. Boop. Seven. Aww. Um, no, that's not high enough. You get a sort of like fond look and a. Um, uh, another pat on the, uh, probably on your shorts, um, in a thank you, um, that's all you get. Aw. March will, uh, uh, he brought them out for show, so his arms will, will sink back in, and March will, will look around them, and before, do you want to head back? I kind of just wanted to try and think for a little bit, but I think I'm ready to head back. Yep. Um, Star, Star nods like, uh, if if you're ready, then I'm ready. Uh, and sort of like picks up the, the pillow uh, that they'd been laying on uh, and uh, like fluffs it out and then um, put shoves it back into his tiny hat. <laughs> Much watches this happen. It's just like, that's really neat. <laughs> um yeah I, and then um once it's done um star sort of like gestures and is like can i climb on your hat and march uh uh it's funny you asked him because he's actually about to <laughs> offer <laughs> so he just uh marched actually uh uh uh, just just leans over for for Star to to climb up. Yep. Yeah, um, Star. Well, 
I mean, his acrobatics is pretty good, so... I'm, I'm not gonna hoping... make you roll for it, because it's... <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, Star cl climbs up with, um, with ease, and and now is like sitting on your hat and you get a little bit of a thump thump on the top like thank you yep. and March just stands up and goes goes awesome and then just uh we'll start we'll uh we'll start walking back <laughs> um I think uh maybe uh because it is just silent image so I think you get a couple um, from where he's like sitting, like uh, in front of you with the. Um, if uh, it's all right, can I join you in meditating uh, sometimes? I mean, if you want to. I don't think it really works for me a lot. But I don't mind. But I don't mind company. Hmm. Yeah, I think that that's enough. I and mean, just um, uh, just the um, I'd like the company to. Maybe you could, if you like company and whatnot, uh, you could join me and Petra with sparring. That's really fun. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, you get a, an excited, um, an excited like tapping on your hat, followed by uh, the image of um, of Star like above you and Petra is like I'm gonna I'm gonna beat uh, your asses. <laughs> <laughs> he says with full confidence, despite the fact that Petra kicked his ass in the one time they sparred. <laughs> March is just March is just like I warn you. I don't go easy in sparring. Hmm. Is it good? I'm not gonna go easy either. <laughs> <laughs> March doesn't say it, but he's looking forward to it. He also doesn't say it, <laughs> and he doesn't think it either, but I'm just thinking because last time uh, me and Abby did a spar between March and Petra, March beat Petra. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if Star get, does get his um his butt kicked, but I don't think Star minds. He just um the idea of being able to spar with people and like um them being able to show off what they can do, uh, is the the part of it he finds real fun. Yeah, yeah. Uh they're buddy. They're friends. <laughs> they're friends, Your Honor. They're friends. I like Star. I like Star a lot. And I think... I feel like that's a good place to end it. Yeah. <laughs> was it? it was a little short, but it was sweet. It was short and sweet. And you know what? That's... It's not bad. E. Oh, wait, actually, wait. <clears throat> as as as, <laughs> it, as the scene is about to cut to black, it immediately, it immediately opens back and it marches like, Wait. Hey, Star, do you have another piece of paper I can borrow? Uh, yep, let me roll a hammer space. Uh, yep, he pulls out a whole sheaf of paper. And, uh, well, there's also an ink bottle that comes, uh, and quill that comes out with it before he's like, ah, <laughs> wait, never mind, and just shoves them back in the hat. Yeah, March very gingerly takes it between his bubble fingers, and it's just like, thank you. I have a friend at the monastery, and I promised I would write to her. No, the there's a you can't see it because um he's still uh, they're still sitting on March's hat, but um there's a soft smile and then you get another like uh soft pat on the hat like a it's a really nice thing to do and to have. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Um, yeah, and I think that's all I have to add. Yeah, I think that's... God. <sighs> I do want to say that when he's agreeing with Star, with Star he is uh, looking up towards his hat, thinking, yeah, it's nice having friends. It's nice having friends. <laughs> Aww. 
Yeah, um, it's really funny because um, Star can't see it, um, but there is um, a real bittersweet look on Star's face when he's thinking about that. And he is not thinking about the new friend that he has been making uh, recently because he's in the denial stage. Oh, oh, not for long, buddy boy. <laughs> not for long, buddy. As soon as March has as <laughs> figured out wording a bit better, he will he will think to say, "Oh wait, I want to tell you that I think you as a friend," but that'll be for another day. Yeah, yeah, it's probably a good thing that's for another day, because I'm not sure how Star would take that at the moment. Yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. But yeah, ink stains and paper airplanes. Thank y'all mm. for, thank y'all for listening. Thank you. We hope to see y'all next time, and until then, bye.